Hi guys, it's me Erin. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing the Ugly to Beauty Challenge. Uh, the original here was by Realistic Bunny 07. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, help the videos on my channel grow. Help uh, YouTube know what to do with it. So I found this poor creature in the gallery and uh, her name was Please Help Me and I thought she really could use some help. So it's plastic surgery time. <laughs> And when I went in and did this, I've never done this challenge before. So, I've seen videos where they just go and pick a new feature and put it on. But that's not how the challenge is supposed to work, I don't think. I think you're supposed to have to manipulate what's already there. Otherwise, it's not very challenging. So, that's what I did. Uh, I just manipulated what was there and did not replace any features. Um, I recolored, I resized, I stretched, I pulled, um, but I did not change features. Then, uh, I thought this hair was really, really cute, um, the hair color and everything. It's, um, it turns out I'm not as good at that create a sim as I thought I was, <laughs> um, like at all. I'm actually rather uh, bad at it apparently <laughs> because I had trouble fixing the duck lips and then also I could never quite get her to stop looking like a who. <laughs> she looks like a who from Whoville, but she's cute. She's a cute who. <laughs> Um, but I decided I was going to give her a little nose ring and then a boob job, of course, and shave the shoulder bones down a little bit. And I don't know what they did to this poor thing. Like, I don't know how they got the, the thighs all caved in like that. That was so weird. Um, and I eventually got it all fixed, you know, but just stuff. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, it wasn't easy. Um, now I think we're about done with the looks. I tweak them a little bit more throughout, but mostly on picking the outfit to make her beautiful. Um, I really like this dress. I thought that was just very, very cute. And I felt like with the hair and everything, she very much put me in the mind of Cat Valentine, played by Ariana Grande in the show Victorious, and also in Sam and Cat. My kids watched that show, those shows a lot growing up. Um, and she just very much put me in the mind of her, so I, I wanted to dress her kind of accordingly, which is why I end up going ahead and giving her the ice cream cone earrings. I think they're super cute. Um, and so then I, it's on to the next outfit, I think. So, formal wear. I love that dress. I think it's so cute. And I wanted to go really dramatic with the makeup for this look. At first, I was like, okay, I'm going to use these awesome, you know, dramatic MAC makeups. And then I, I started getting it down. And I realized, um, whoa, that's just too much pink. So I uh, fixed it. I changed it back to normal makeup. Still MAC eyeshadow and uh, blush and lipstick, but just not the eyeliner. And I really like those gloves from the Vampires pack. I think they looked really, really good with that dress. Um, so then it's time for her exercise wear. And we go with these pants from Discovery University and this top from Spa Day. And uh, we, of course, we're going to have to give her some cute shoes, pink shoes to go with it. And then we got to pull your hair up because, well, you know, we don't want to be all sweaty, get our hair all nasty. We don't want our hair to stick to the back of our neck. That would feel gross. 
so and then it's time for bedtime and just kind of very casual simple bedtime clothes bunny slippers some uh, cute little fuzzy pajama pants and then I really liked this outfit that was already there so I just recolored the jacket and uh, gave her some new boots because I thought that they were cuter but I really liked the outfit itself and then I really like this look I use this outfit quite a bit because it's just very 1950s starlit and I really really like that look um, then hot weather wear and I wish it would just copy the makeup to everyone once you do it on the every day but it doesn't for some reason I was a little torn between which top to do for this particular look um, between this one and the tank that comes with Misty Knitting because that's really cute too but I did inevitably go with the bustier with the cherries um, I think that's super cute very I wanted the shorts from Eco Lifestyle though and I was having trouble finding them <laughs> So I thought about these skirts for a second, and I just know I, I need those shorts. I've got to find those shorts. So there they are, and that, that made me happy. Um, I should have probably gone with that first jacket there, but I, I second-guessed myself and changed it to the parka. And the boots from Nifty Knitting, which I love those boots. They're so cute. Um, and then they recolored the beanie. You have extra colors to choose from, not just gray, blue, and red anymore. Um, I had trouble finding a hat for her. So I ended up going with the hat from Eco Lifestyle. I thought that was a cute look. And uh, then you see me, I forgot, oops, got makeup for party wear. Gotta fix that. Give her. And then just kind of like, oh yeah, she needs some fancy hair for this. So. There we go, fancy hair for that outfit. And made her a little bit younger as well. I thought, you know, she could afford all of this plastic surgery. She could probably afford some therapy to make her a better sim. So, not a perfect sim, but a better sim. And <laughs> then we needed to give her a name because please help me is not a name that you want to go through life with so we named her Mercedes uh, because you know she's fancy so adjusted her voice a little bit give her a very sophisticated sounding voice and then these are her looks and I decided you know she probably could afford a little bit more therapy to change from wanting to be an evil criminal to uh, a charisma-based aspiration. Uh, so that's the, the video. I will put links in the description. If you like this, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment and share. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!